Okay. Things look good. Things look sensational. Oh boy, late night streaming, eh? Quite a lot Alright, we're back! Late night, not with Fallout 4. Playing Hand of Fate. Not played this for a good long while, however, I've I've had a hankering to play it for a very long time, especially on a late night stream, and I had a couple of free hours, so why not? Don't think we'll get any viewers today, but that's absolutely fine, because it means that me and Jimbo can have a nice talk. For anyone who does who hasn't seen me play Hand of Fate, this man in front of me who's talking all over me, how dare he? How dare he? This is Jimbo, the dealer of cards, the the uh, charmer of babes, and um, he's also got a mean right hook as well. Yeah, he's uh, quite the beast. Some say that underneath his little robe thing on his mouth, there's just tentacles, just tentacles there, it's like, like Cthulhu tentacles, it's really weird. Anyway, enough of enough about him. Uh, we're going to be doing endless mode. Yeah. We're going to do endless mode, we're going to do hard mode, and I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> uh, I played I played like a practice game before this stream, and I got the uh, the warning signs card. And this might, this won't mean anything to anybody, but... I basically failed like three times, so I got drawn like, I don't know, like, what would it be? It would be 16 pain cards. <laughs> I got down to 32 health. That, that, that was on my first, that was my first card. First card, morning signs, 32 health. That's, uh, you start with 80. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, hard mode. Hard mode. Faster combat, stronger enemies, yada yada yada. Let's go. You want to play on hard mode? Now, our high score Done. is still about 3,400 points. If I could beat that. If I could just beat 3,400 points, that is the only thing I want today, Jimbo. Seriously, that is the only thing I want, Jimbo. 3,400 so points. To Not much to ask for. Really we always get you. cursed luck. Difficulty of picking success a no successful ch uh, so chance card is unfair. increased. So, cards will move faster, it's hard to pick. Uh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. We always get that. Oh, we also get Headsman's Blessing. Now, we'll need an axe in order to activate that, but it is quite good. Whenever you get a kill using an axe, you'll get free health. So it, it can be okay, but the problem with axes is that they tend to be the weakest uh, items in the game. We also get the Plunder's Ring. With every game card, the player receives plus one health and... Sorry, plus one gold and plus two health. Is that useful? Uh, you don't gain many gain cards, but oh, I suppose you do actually, yeah, because it'll mean gold gain cards as well and health gain cards. So, yeah, that could be alright. That could be alright. It's going to be minimal to begin with, but it could be alright. Okay, run number one, Reva. Oh my lord, okay. Uh, we're in medium armor, so. We could attempt. Well, we we got to attempt to cross the river because there's no way to turn back. So uh, yeah, your path your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear but fast flowing. Got to cross the river, unfortunately. Fifty percent chance. Watch the cards. Uh, two, I think. Ah, god damn it! The luck has begun. The the lack of luck has begun. Your medium sized armor doesn't make the crossing easy, and current pushes you downstream. When you emerge from the water, your pack feels lighter. Uh, free gold. That's fine. That's fine. Hard mode is very, very hard. Believe me. It is so punishing. Especially on endless mode as well. Local peasant. What do we got? Well, crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The win What is that voice? Uh, Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. In exchange for some food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. <sighs> the problem with this one is that all she really does is she teaches you about the cards that are coming up ahead, but I think she has a chance of giving you gloves as well if you give her five food. The problem is we only start with nine. We, yeah, we start with nine. We lose five. There's four cards left. We'd need a shop or a food encounter. But I want those gloves. Give me those gloves. The woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. 
You've given us enough food to survive the winter, stranger. She retrieves a sack from behind a bush. This was my husband's before he died. Please accept it as thanks. There you go. Glad no one was here to hear my, my old lady voice. Because that one's, that one's being put back in the closet for the rest of the night, hopefully. <laughs> Ah, draw one glove card. Fantastic. What do we get? Assassin's Greed. With these equipped, every successful combat grants the player some gold. Brilliant. All right, let's go. We'll get more gold that way. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard. What have we got? Uh, altar. Uh, yeah, altar. Devil's Wager. Dead King's Hall. Those are some horrible ones. I mean, the altar might be good, but it's, it's very RNG. The altar. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Ah, on a deserted hilltop in a faraway land, you discover an old altar. The gods of the old religion are powerful yet unpredictable. In their favors, do you wish to pray at the altar? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. 50% chance? We've already lost our first 50% chance. Uh, the way that I play this game is that if I don't know, I always go for two. And I never switch from it, because if I do switch from it, and it is actually two that I need to go for, I feel bad. But if I go for two, and I like never change, I never feel bad whether I win or lose. So, I always go for two. <laughs> and in this case, it was the worst card! <laughs> Huge failure. Ah. Oh, I don't really want to press A anymore. On bended knee, you beseech the gods to aid you in your quest. A deafening clap of thunder answers your prayer. You feel the power and wrath of the gods fill you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, a curse! Oh, that's spicy. What do we have? Blunt aura. Attacks from death. player's weapon do less damage. Again. That's surprisingly actually not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not really about how much damage you do, it's how long you can stay in the fight in this game, so... so careless with your yeah, not too bad so far, although we are running out of food. Devil's Wager. Yep. A devil appears in a puff of smoke and fixes its evil gaze upon you. Gleetings, mortal. Oh, what have you got for me, devil? I begin to beat my minions without taking a scratch, or I will reward you with gold and magical trinkets. <sighs> I, this is the easiest Devil's Wager you will ever get. He gives you about 8 health and you cannot take a hit. Let's do it. Excellent, the Devil cries with glee. It points at you with a crooked finger and uh, says, let's see you prove it. Uh, yeah, it gives us 8 health at the very least. So 8 health, it, it does offer a, a small amount of leeway. I, I mean, I think you can take a light hit, but that's about it. I mean, I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, we, we're just going to make sure that we don't get hit by any traps, because this looks like a potential trap arena. No, we're just going to make sure that we just don't get hit by anything. That, that's it, really. Don't get hit by anything. We're going to play really defensive here. Alright, let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Oh, wait, those are traps, aren't they? Ye get out of there. Get out of there. I don't want anything to do with this. Alright, okay, okay. As soon as they throw stuff at you, as soon as you see that green... Uh, and we'll take that one as well. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Not bad so far. Not bad so far. Just gotta make sure that those daggers do not connect. And thankfully, enemies do take damage from the traps that are in the middle of the field. Oh my lord. Oh, boy, I got hit by that one. No! Oh god, okay. I need to stay over here. I need to stay over here. Come on, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. Nice, nice, nice. Great combo, great combo so far. <laughs> Boom, done it. That was literally the easiest devil's wager so that was nothing special but that was also <laughs> my first fight of the stream so i'll take it hmm, you're not dead that is unex unexpected <laughs> the devil waves his hand partially healing you partially oh okay then that's, that, that, that's fine it then disappears leaving behind some loot please be food 
Oh, I'd love you forever, devil, if you left me some food. And we also get stuff from the uh, Ring of Gains, or whatever it's called, so, yeah, this is good. Uh, armory, draw four, sure choose to it. discard or put on top. Let's have a look. Okay, do we want any of these? Uh, Fleet Cuffs is nice. But to be honest, the rest is kind of crap, so no. Put them on the bottom of the deck. Five max health, very and nice. Max health, very health. good in endless mode. <gasps> five food. Yay, five food. Oh, free food as well. Very good. Totally worth it. The thing about food in this game, especially in endless mode, is that you just don't get much of it. And so you've got to make sure that you spend it smartly. You lose the food for every move that you make on the board. When you go from card to card, you lose the food. So you've got to make sure that you don't waste it or else you'll start taking damage from starvation. Dead King's Hall. Uh, I think this is Forced Monsters, right? Yeah, you see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. And lo behold it is. To a dust, and to a dust. Uh, I want to take the fight on, so we will attempt to take them by surprise. Uh, we want failure or huge success here. Mm, I don't know what... Oh. I like free... Ah! Oh! Wow! Okay. Zowie will take a huge success there. Corbel Army. <laughs> Suddenly you leap into the fray, taking one of them down before they can even react. So we are going to eliminate one of these cards. Uh, should it be the Two of Dust or should it be the Two of Dust? I think we will go for the um, Two of Dust. Good idea. <laughs> so now we only have to fight one. Brilliant. Okay. Looks like the devil has given us our look for the de for the night. Hopefully, anyway. Jesus Christ. That was an absolute stroke of luck. Love it. Love it. Ah, I love this game. It's so good. All right, enough of that. They've already seen the loading screen. Uh, let them come to us. Let them come to us. Let them come to us. Don't fall for the traps. Don't fall for the traps. Yeah, boy. It's like Sense Fortress in here. Ah, I played Dark Souls. I know what this is all about. Ugh. I know how to handle a sword and a shield, you scrubs. Do you know who I am? I'm a star TJ. Your worst nightmare. Oh, bang. Oh, bang. Done. Done. Alright, we will need a better weapon. We will need a better weapon because... Well, I mean, we don't, but it's preferred. And we've already got the blunted aura curse, so that's pretty crap. But if we can get a better weapon, then life will become a little easier for us. There you go, one food as well, nice. Five food, okay, good. What a fantastic floor. It's a shame that it's like the weakest floor. It doesn't really give Stay you away. much score to get past floor one unscathed, but hey, it helps. We got plus five health from it. <sighs> All right. So yeah, for those of you that have played Hand of Bait, or even if you haven't, endless mode, you just keep going. So we've done dungeon one, well dungeon level one. We move on to dungeon level two, and for every uh, level that you get past, something happens. So traps now grow a bit deadlier. So if we were to run into traps, we'll take a bit more damage. Um, yep, traps inflict ten percent more damage. Uh, anything else that we get? No, I don't think we do. Right. Okay. Whew. So the little sacks on the on the cards are gold 15 gold to be exact so we're going to take that route we're going to take the gold tavern is this a wager in the tavern you meet a ship's captain pirates have taken over my ship the drunken wench help me reclaim her and i'll share whatever trevor remains that trevor trevor who's trevor trevor whatever treasure remains in her hold uh we love treasure we love treasure we love trevor as well but uh we don't really know who trevor is trevor phillips GTA, maybe? I love that guy. But he also played a bad guy in The Walking Dead, so maybe I don't like that guy. Alright, okay, we'll, well, we don't want to save Trevor, but we will take your treasure, so we will help. Ooh, 50% chance. 25 on the huge. Ah, god damn it. God damn it. When you reach the pier, you discover that the drunken wench has already left port. No, oh. Oh, you and the captain set off in the rowing boat. Okay, we keep going. Soon you and the captain find yourselves heading further out to sea. Oh, we don't want to get lost here. We might see a kraken. And we don't want to be cracking, guys. Yeah. Oh, yes, that'll do. That'll do nicely. 
you oh a blessing card oh nice and a gains card very nice indeed you find the ship just off the coast carefully you climb aboard and discover that the pirates have tied up the crew then abandon the ship and most of the treasure bless you lads captain says i have me wench back lol very offensive term wench um shouldn't use it guys but uh no one listens to me so you you do what you want <laughs> you do what you want boys you do what you want Blessing and gain card. Nice. So we get five gold. Yeah, it's all right. We're here for the blessing. Will of the gods. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. If that creature is the first to die, then it pops out five gold, which the player may collect. Very minimal. Very niche. It's not a great one, but it's potentially five extra gold. I hardly even notice the glow, to be honest with you, so I'm not going to be targeting it. With these fights, it's about staying alive. It's not about getting five gold. Green wagon. Uh, you come across a broken down wagon laden with food. Its owner nowhere in sight. I don't know why you would ever click anything bar number one. I really don't. Because call out and offer help. If bandits come, kill them. Great stuff. If the owner comes along, he gives you food. Like, isn't that obvious? Well, I mean, let's find out. Maybe a dragon's going to appear from the uh, food wagon and eat me. I don't like being eaten, guys. Don't like being eaten. Let's do it. Oh, thank God you're here. A merchant leaps out of the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cards, and I didn't chase. Please accept this food as thanks. See, look. Easy game. Unless it's just one food, which it usually is. Yeah? He's digging deep. Ten food. Wow, wow, we wow. Wow, this is the rum, boys. This is the rum, boys. Alright, 15 gold. Nice. Cave shelter. Which one's this? Uh, I can't remember this one. You enter a cave intending to shelter from a heavy storm when you discover signs that it is already inhabited by monsters. Uh, boldly enter. You yell a challenge into the darkness and stride confidently into the cave. Weapon ready. Oh, my lord. Please don't be hard ones. Dust and dust. That's fine. That is fine. I mean, dust, they're, they're not really monsters, they, they're they humans. They're humans, right? Dust are the bandits, right? Yeah, they're just humans, it's fine. These aren't monsters, they're nice guys. They're just, they're just defending their home, right? This is their home, and here I am, potentially here to kill them. I'm like, like what's, what's, what's wrong with them uh, wanting to kill me? They're defending their home, in fact, no, to be honest. I'm, I'm not accepting of that. I must murder these fools. I must murder all of them. Oh, knife coming in. Noise. Have we been hit yet? Famous last words, but literally, have we been hit yet? Because if we haven't, that's amazing. Oh, my lord. I might... I, oh, god, that was close. I might be the greatest Hand of Fate player in the world. God damn it. Oh, my lord. It would just be really nice to get a really good... Oh, there you go. I got hit. <laughs> it would just be nice to get, like, a good first run, you know. I, I want this to go up on YouTube. Um, out of all the things that I've put on YouTube since my comeback, this has actually been the most watched, and I thank the YouTube guys for that. I, if you are if you are watching on YouTube, then I appreciate that so much. Glad you can uh, enjoy this. Um, but yeah, I, I really want a good run just for those guys, and I want to beat that high score. That's what life is about, ladies and gentlemen. Beat that high score. 3,500 points. That's what it's all about. I think that's my high score anyway. It's around 3,500 or something like that. We've got a long way to go, though. You search the entire cave and loot what remains. You find... What do we find? Free food. Oh, this is so good. Equipment. We get consuming shame. I don't know what that is. All weapon attacks are enhanced with a powerful poison that taints the victim's mind and body. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, it's just nice to have an artifact. This is a, a buff that you can use within the fight. However, you only get seven of them. Uh, and there's a bit of a cooldown after every use. So, it will be useful. Uh, it is the only buff that we have right now. So, we'll take it. Uh, excuse me. Right, let's continue. Yeah, ambush. I don't think ambush is too bad, surely. Two monster cards, a slight rustling, but Jimbo, shh, shh, Jimbo, shh, shh. Yeah? Yeah, talk to me, Jimbo. I'll, I'll let you talk. You seem to like talking. Without it, the game is nothing but a computing machine. Right. A computing machine. Right. 
Good. Good. Anything else to say, Jimbo? No? Okay, cool. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Lol. Um, to a dust, and to a dust. This has been a really tame start for hard mode. Like, a really tame start. They've given you, well, they've given me all of the easy encounters. It's given me five extra health. Oh, God. And we've not lost much of it. I think we've been hit twice, and they've both been knives for one damage. We've even done Devil's Wager without getting hit, so... We're doing fine here. We're doing absolutely fine. We don't need poison at all. Uh, the only damaging thing that we have, really, is Blunt Aura. Like, the way that you play this game, you don't play it for damage, necessarily. You play it for, you know, how long you can stay in the fight. If you can just continually dodge every attack for the entire fight, then you don't need damage. You can just go as long as you want. Damage does help end the fight quicker, and I suppose that kind of lessens the chances of you getting hit, but if you just keep dodging, you're not going to get hit. So, you know, it all depends on how well you play the game. And I like to think that I play this game pretty well. I mean, I did do story mode pretty easily. And you can watch some of those uh, streams on YouTube. Lol. Plug. Plug, plug, plug. Uh, well, uh, searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill them. Why not? 75% chance. Watch me fail. Watch me fail. I'm going to watch it on stream delay. I have a stream delay, so I can cheat here. Uh, I'm, I'm still going to go with two, I think, but unless I can see what the top card is. Ah, I couldn't see it. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> there you go. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. Free gains cards. Please be goodies. Okay, armory. Draw free, and it's either top or discard. Ooh. Oh, these are goodies. Yes, we want these on the top, please. Yes. Uh, free food, and Absolutely. we also get ourselves 13 gold. Strange amount, but that's fine. We have a new weapon coming into our future, so that's fine. Stranger in the shadows, not really worth it. You give a bit of health, you get a bit of money. We're good on money. We are good on gold. We're good on food. We're good on everything, pretty much. Oh, well. Okay, let's do it. Dungeon free. I mean, we, I feel like we're being led into a trap here. We've had a nice kind of easy first couple of levels. It's going to get harder. All right, more trap damage, I think. We've lost one food. That's fine. That's fine. That's easy. Okay. Uh, and we've got our first shop coming up as well. Looks like a traveling merchant. Things are going really well. Bandit attack. Uh, I think the King of Dust isn't happy with us. Yeah, a group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust ain't happy with you, killing our men. Whatever. I mean, I have killed a lot of them. <laughs> I've killed a lot of them in a very short time. What's it been like? I don't know. Three encounters, two cards each. No, we did have a one card, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, it's just going to be more of the same, boys. More of the same. There we go. Here we go. Roll up, roll up. It's the Upstart DJ Slay Show. Oh, yeah. Everyone gets slayed. You get slayed. You get slayed. Everybody. Everybody gets flipping slayed. I'll let you have that one, considering I've killed so many of your men. I'll let you have that one, you bugger. Call me. Call me. Ah! Shield to the first. That's what we do here. That's what we do here, guys. Oh, God. Please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can't get cocky. I really can't get cocky. It's only dust. Dust is not hard. These guys are not hard at all. But as soon as you start getting cocky, that's when mistakes happen. And you don't want that. Oh, God. I need better armor, though. I, I really do need better armor. In terms of stats in this game, like what you focus on, or what I focus on anyway, I go speed first, uh, then defense, and then attack. Attack is like the least important thing. I go speed first because being able to move is just so helpful. I've lost a lot of health in this fight. I have lost a hell of a lot of health here. Yeah, God. Thankfully, we're going to get most of this back from food, but yeah, it's not a good sign that I'm losing quite a bit of health here from the easiest guys in the game. Oh boy. 
that's not a good sign for when we take on rat men and scales and dust. Well, not dust, um, whatever the skulls are called. I can't even remember now. It's been a while since I've played this, so I can't even remember what the skull guys are called. Among the bodies, you find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you, plus an offer of a reward from the King of Dust. I'm sure we will find the King of Dust somewhere. I'm sure we'll find him, and I'm sure he'll pff, kick our ass. No, he's actually pretty easy. Whilst browsing the words at the trading post, you're approached by the proprietor. You look like a trustworthy sort. I'm in debt to an acquaintance in Orangeshire. He is holding. Wait, he. Oh, sorry. He is holding some items of my collateral. I don't know, God, reading is hard late night, ladies and gentlemen. If you deliver this girl to him, an item of equipment can be yours as payment. Sure thing. Sure thing, my good sir. You have my thanks. Please make sure all the money makes it there safely. So he's going to give us um, 100 gold. So we now have 295 gold. However, if we don't uh, fulfill his request, um, we will lose half our health. So basically, well, I mean, in literally, it says after five steps, player loses five health, 50% uh, health. So it's going to be within five steps, but we're, we're going to do it anyway. It's fine. We're going to pay him the 100 gold. We get a free item out of it anyway. Um, where is it? Yeah, I mean, look, it's literally two steps away. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can keep the gold if you want. If you want to keep the gold, you can. But you've got to be prepared to lose 50% health. And 50% of 85 is not much. It's about, what, 40, 42, 43? I guess it'll be 40. I guess it'll be 43. No, 42? I don't know how these do odds. I don't know how they do odd numbers uh, with us. Because I'd be 42 or 43. And that is not enough, my good friends. That is not enough. Alright, we got 310 gold. We've got to make sure that we keep uh, 100 for ourselves. Alright. We have Hag's Wraps. We like Hag's Wraps. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. Um, we do have Plunderer's Cap as well. When you draw supplies instead, draw two and pick one. Hmm, doesn't really help too much. Alchemical Silver doesn't really help too much either. Dragon Ring would help, but we haven't unlocked the Dragon quest line yet, or I haven't anyway, so we're gonna give that a skip, because the chances of us actually getting the Dragon quest line is, um, well, all not, well, not impossible, but it's not happening. Oh, I do like Hagraps, though. I really like Hagraps. Um... Oh, yeah, go on then. We like hag wraps. The great thing about hag wraps is it slows them down, and I, I love speed. Speed is great. Having speed over your opponent, it just means you get to do more hits, and it, when, it's, when it says it slows them down, it really slows them down. So we're big fans of hag wraps. Um, Assassin's Creed. Eh, Assassin's Creed's alright, but we don't really need the gold right now, so we'll equip that. that will help you. Um, even though we don't need it. Oh, in fact, no. I was about to say, even though we don't need it, we'll buy some food, but it only comes in ones at this shop, and I don't buy food in ones. I, I find, I, I just see little value in spending.